Hello everyone, it is Sunday night, December 5th, 2021. Of course, Wednesday was New Comic Book Day. And I was able to pick up a lot of really nice books. There were a couple of good titles that came out, so I'm going to show those. Um, I picked up a couple of older books from 1961-62, so I know everybody likes to see that. Only a couple. I picked up a big pop. I don't do a lot of pops, but this one I really wanted to do. And then I wanted to give an update uh, where we are as it relates to getting the garage ready for the Arkham Comics garage setup uh, where you'll be able to come and buy comic books. And then I've gotten a couple of emails from people that I'm going to address as it relates to the selling in the garage. So let's jump into some of the books. I apologize in advance for the uh, bright lights. We have installed track lighting to make it easier for people to look at books if I do a sale in the evening. I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet. I'm still, everything is being worked out. So. Let me move these bags, and let's jump into some of the books. Venom, number two. Again, I apologize in advance for the glare because of the track lighting, but once we get things going, I think you're going to like it a lot. And then here's another one here. This is a semi-key as it relates to Dylan Brock. So there's that there. And then a book I was looking forward to. This is Daredevil, number 36. This is the last Daredevil uh, run in the, the last Daredevil book in this storyline. The next Daredevil is going to feature female Daredevil. Uh, I am looking forward to that one too if they do it correctly. So there was uh, the Marvel stuff I picked up. Again, I apologize. I'm not organized because I've been doing stuff all day. Uh, first one up now is the local comic book uh, day, shop day, Task Force Z2. And I like this because I thought it was a really cool foil cover. Sorry again for the glare, but you can kind of see uh, how it looks right there. It's a black foil cover with red, uh, like a red skull on it. So I do like that. Nice House on the Lake, number four. Pick this one up. Batman Fear State Omega, number one. Batman Annual 21, there were a ton of annuals for DC, and I was really picking and choosing the ones I wanted. Uh, so, of course, I'm going to get the Batman Annual, so there's that one there. Sorry again about the glare. And Batman Detective Annual, as Arkham Rises, Heroes Fall. Kind of a cool cover right there. Again, try to get it to where you can actually see it. The only reason I did the video in the garage is because I promised I would do it in the garage next time. I was just hoping to have more done in the garage before I did this. Uh, now for some independence. We have White Ash, season two, book number one. I like this cover right there because of the wicked looking little witch down there. Again, if you can see her, there she is. This is from an independent company called Asylum Press. Uh, I got this because of the artwork on the back of the book, and I'll show that. But this is Zombie Tears, number one Halloween special. It is just a one-shot, so I don't know why they call it number one. But there was the front cover art, little girl with a creepy zombie. And then the reason I bought the book, honestly, for the artwork on the back, because I don't anticipate this book is going to do a whole lot anyways. So give me a minute. There's the artwork on the back, which I thought was really, really cool for back cover art. That should have been the cover art, and you should have put the other picture with the little girl on the front, front uh, back cover. Okay, so there's that. This is last book you ever read, number four. This was called their sexy cover. I don't. This was the poly bag cover. They don't come out with very good covers on this book for this, so. Uh, there's that one there. The story is pretty good. I do like the storyline, so that will keep me going there. This is a Spawn 324. I don't know if this came out this week or not, but I did like the cover on that. A book I am looking forward to reading because I did enjoy the first series. Maniac of New York, The Bronx is Burning, cover A. And cover B, kind of a cutout mask. They've done a couple of these on some other stories, uh, on different storylines or different types of books. And 
they seem to be very popular with people trying to uh, get the mask covers. And then speaking of a horror genre book, uh, if you didn't see it, uh, a new Texas Chainsaw Massacre is coming out in February of 2022. I saw the previews. I liked it. I am looking forward to it because I am a fan, as everybody knows. So there was that. Uh, next up, Zombie Tramp, number 83. Kissing a Skeleton right there. The Risque variant, as you would say. Uh, every, uh, every week they seem to be coming out with a couple of Ninja Turtle um, homages, and this is no different. First one, Purgatory. I don't know if this one came out last week or is that was a red sony i'm not sure everything kind of runs together for me and then we have evil ernie new evil ernie storyline this one right here the ninja turtles and then they also did a amazing spider-man 300 homage of evil ernie surprisingly this is not being sold a lot i don't know it, it didn't sell very well uh in the shops i went to I don't know if it's because it's Evil Ernie or people are just getting tired of homages, homage covers. I love the homage covers, so I was very happy to be able to grab a couple of those. And then the book that really sold well, this is from Blaze Comics. This is Animal Castle. This is kind of a Animal Farm style story. If you are my age, I'm 54 years old. Animal Farm was a book that we had to read in school. And this kind of has the same feel uh, for that. There's that there, cover B. So those are the books that we picked up. I also picked up a big pop. I don't do a lot of pops, uh, but I did do this one because of who it is. It is the big Michael Myers blood splatter pop, and I like it. It's big. I don't know the size because, like I said, I'm not a big pops guy, um, but I had to get this because I thought it was really cool, and the blood splatter, I guess, is a semi-chase figure, so I was happy to add that to my Halloween collection. Put that back here. And then I picked up three older books. A uh, storyline called The Jaguar. This is from 1962 and 63, excuse me. So I picked up uh, Jaguar number five. Kind of cool cover right there, girl in the bikini. Or a bikini style costume, I should say. Uh, Jaguar number seven. And then Jaguar number 12. Oh, you know, VG grade, VG fine grade, nothing high end on that. Uh, but it presents very well. The color is really good on it. And so it'll look, it'll just look nice, uh, you know, on the wall. Uh, so what we have here is I was trying to get a start date and i was hoping to get a start date in december but it does not look like i'm going to be able to do that uh, with starting the new job the holiday season things just aren't falling into place i'm trying to get stuff done as quickly as possible but unfortunately uh, it is a work in progress and it looks like i'm going to shoot for mid-january uh, start the new year off with a new uh you know selling um you know point or a new selling um Business, I can't think of the name right now. Like I said, it is late here on Sunday night. Uh, I'll kind of show you a little bit here. It's just kind of, it's going to be kind of a grid wall setup. Uh, we're going to add more grid wall. We have a backdrop we got to do. It's going to be on one, this side as well as on the other side of the garage. Uh, just for, you're going to have a ton of books, uh, stuff hanging on the wall, just like you would walk into a comic book store. You're going to have boxes of books. You're going to have, um, you know, books hanging on the wall. You're going to have some really nice stuff, and everything is going to be priced as is. Uh, if you came to my booth for the Las Vegas uh, comic book convention, the uh, the library comic book convention, the setup is going to be basically the same as it relates to the boxes. I'm going to have vintage. I am going to have, uh, you know, a lot of newer books, uh, and then, you know, books, you know, Bronze Age. I'm just going to have, you know, kind of the whole gauntlet of books, but... I've been getting comments, and I've mentioned this a couple of times. The idea that it's in a garage does not mean that books are going to be blown out, hugely discounted. Uh, it, it's not that type of a sale. This is just a different way. This is an at-home business. I have an at-home business license uh, because with everything going on in the pandemic, storefronts are just too expensive. So we came up with another option. I was able to get a license for it, uh, and you're going to be able to come to the garage sale 
or you know the place in the garage is going to be set up almost like a little shop uh, it's not going to be open every day it's going to be open you know a few times a month it depends on what my schedule is going to be at work and you know when we can get things started but there might be a day where i'm there from eight in the morning till you know one in the afternoon and there might be a day where i'm there from five at night to nine at night it just depends on you know what's going on because i know some people can't make it every day it's going to be you know different days um, I am going to be announcing the things here on the channel. I'm going to be announcing things, uh, you know, on social media. There's a Las Vegas Comic Book Society that I'm going to uh, announce on. So that is kind of how we're going to do. And then word of mouth. I'm hoping word of mouth starts to spread. I want to be consistent with the days every month uh, so it doesn't change constantly. But again, like I have stated a thousand times, this is going to be a work in progress. It's not going to be a smooth, you know, open shut case, you know, right out of the box. There's going to be, you know, I'm going to add books constantly. I have tons of books to put out. I have a lot of books in storage, but it takes time to be able to, you know, rebag them board, to price, to get things out. But I think once we get going and after a few, um, you know, efforts, I think people are really going to enjoy it. I think you're going to find some good books at good prices because, you know, my standard is high grade, and that doesn't matter if it's older books, which I, I try to get as high grade as possible, or newer books, which I'm very picky about. And those of you who own comic shops here in town, I know Brian, uh, you know, for, and Neil Fandomverse, I know, you know, they know how I pick, how picky I am with books. So my uh, pickiness is going to be your uh, benefit when you pick up, you know, really high end books, and then my regular customers as well. So. There's that, but I am, you know, I, I doubt I'm going to be able to get it going in December. I was hoping for the middle of December, but, you know, uh, uh, starting a new job, you got to go through orientations and everything else. And since I'm in security, it's a security academy and it's three weeks and it's just taking up a lot of time. And by the time I get home, honestly, I'm tired and I can't get anything done. So um, I've decided to try to push it back to January. I know that's going to disappoint, you know, some people, you know, Rudy, I know you're probably a little disappointed about that, but trust me. I'm not doing this half-assed. I don't want to just open up and make it look crappy. If it doesn't look good, I'm not going to open it up. I want to do it right. Now, with that said, I've been getting some messages from some people, and they're like, oh, you know, you're, you're comic book. You're doing it out of a garage, so what are we looking at, 50 60% off? No, you're not looking at 50 or 60% off. Don't let the fact that it's out of a garage. This isn't some garage sale where they throw the books on the lawn or they take a bunch of books that aren't bagged and boarded. They throw them on a table, and they put, you know, a $40 price point on it or, you know, you know, kids find some books and they're like, you know, a dollar each and the covers are falling off. This is not what that is. If that's what you're looking for, keep looking at yard sales other places because you are not going to find those type of books here. Am I going to have a few boxes of dollar books? Absolutely, I am. But please don't come here thinking you're going to grab a stack of books and for the sake of argument, I ring it up at $70 and you're like, you know, you take 15 No, I'm not going to take $15 like people, you know, are sending me messages like, you know, you're going to get these huge discounts. It's not what it is. And if that's what you're looking for, don't bother coming up because I'm not going to haggle with you. You know, if you're a good customer and you're buying some stuff, of course, I'll work a deal with you. Um, you know, I'll give discounts. But if you're looking for huge discounts, it's not going to happen. Like I said, this is almost like a comic book store with the exception of it's in a garage instead of a storefront. And if you look at the prices of storefronts in Las Vegas, you're going to know why I'm doing it like this. I have looked very hard for a storefront. Uh, that, you know, met my you know, my price point, and it's just not there. Ever since, you know, the pandemic and everything started opening, these, you know, owners and think that they can just, you know, oh, you know, I'm going to get $3,000 for a crappy-ass storefront. Uh, I'm just not in the, in the market to do that, and I have no interest in doing that right now at that price point. So this was the option I came up with. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you like it, and I hope to see you come out, um, you know, if that's what, you know, you're looking for. Uh, again, those of you who have, uh, you know, dealt with me in the past know, you know the style of customer service I give, the style of books that I give. I think everybody will be really, really happy. Kind of consider it like an indoor swap meet space like I had before, except in a, in a garage. So that's kind of where we're at. So again, um, kind of a short video, uh, kind of a quick video because I am tired and I got to go back tomorrow. Uh, but like I said, once everything gets going a year from now, or, you know, once we do it a few times and we build it up, by this time next year, it's going to be a really smooth flow. And again, there's going to be a lot of books out there. There's going to be a constant change of inventory because I'm just going to keep putting stuff out. Uh, again, um, I, I hope to see you out here 
uh, I just do this because I like doing it and I know the community needs, you know, a, a good option of picking up books. So uh, some shops in town aren't that great as it relates to uh, back issues or good quality books. I'm hoping to kind of bridge the gap uh, with that. Uh, you still got your powerhouses. I mean, I'm not saying that cosmic, uh, you know, probably in my opinion, as for this customer service, one of the best. But then you got like Torpedo and things like that. But this is just, again, uh, something that I'm trying to do to bridge the gap, get the community together. Come on in, sit in the garage, talk. You know, we'll have some chairs set up and we'll just bullshit and talk, you know, comic book and the comic book society and, you know, things that are going on. So with that said, I hope you liked the video. But as always, if you didn't, nothing I can do for you. Have a great, great night. Have a good week. Have a safe holiday season. I will see you in a few days with my next video. I'll see you then.